From the people that you've spoken to, what does it give them? People say that it can give them a sense of closure. For donor families, they might feel reassured that they made the right decision. Um, they might uh, feel really glad just to have shared the information about their loved ones so that they're not just a, an unidentifiable donor, that they're a real person. From the transplant recipient side, often people say this was a great experience because it gave them the chance to really express in a really rich way just how grateful they are for the transplant um, and to feel, I guess, perhaps not so much reassurance, but to also fill the gap in the curiosity that they might have about who that donor was and what their life was like and to put a name to them. Is there a good reason that you can think of why donor families and recipients shouldn't meet if that's what everyone wants? Sometimes people have uh, preferences or desires that they want to pursue regardless of what other people want. And so if someone, for example, were really um, keen to establish a new relationship or thinking of a transplant recipient as uh, their own loved one who had died living on in some way and wanting that person to perhaps replace the person who has died, um, that can potentially be a motivation uh, for others. It may be in extortion cases. It's like extortion, I guess, in other settings. Uh, it can be uh, the desire to either make money out of a situation. This is what you owe us because we've, we've given you an organ for transplantation. There seems to be momentum with this. How easy or difficult would it be to change the legislation? My understanding of the legislative process is that will take time and it will create discussion, but I think the important thing is actually to have those discussions and perhaps while legislation is being reviewed, talking through some of those more practical aspects or, or ethical concerns that might need to be resolved if the legislation does change. Where do you stand on this? Personally, I think that people should have the option uh, of meeting one another where it is mutually desired and where there are those systems in place to support them. What do you think of Australia's current system where you have to opt in to organ donation? Uh, I know there's been a lot of interest from the community about whether we should introduce the opt-out um, legislation and, and make that sort of easier for people to identify as a donor. Personally, I think it's, it can be ethically appropriate uh, as long as we're sure that the community is well informed and, and knows how to opt out. So at, at some point, perhaps, you know, the Australian public and, and lawmakers will decide to make that change. And, and I don't think that's a bad thing, mm -hmm. but it, it won't be the answer to our problems um, mm -hmm. or the, the areas we have for improvement. It may be just part of uh, reflecting, I guess, the, the Australian culture that we do support donation.